Hello, greetings. Can't stay away. My mind is all the time at this now. So the reply, Maryam Nawaz or Safdar is given to Jemima Goldsmith. Do you, I don't think it is fair at all. Uh, so she said, I have, all this I have nothing to do with you and I have better things to do. And what better things do you have to do? When better things were to be done for Pakistan, you never did anything better. Maybe for yourself, selfish better. You have no better thing to do. Ek to ye Islam, Islam, ye ke taken Islam. Kareeb. So I've spoken about that, but what I want to say now is that uh, first, this Nawaz Sharif denies the cases that Supreme Court, the Supreme Court, you know my father was saying that in London, there are people who resign if there's some, like Ram and Sita, Ram sent Sita away, his own wife, beloved, because someone, that was long time ago. Maybe you can judge that. Who's going to judge it? I mean, these Britishers, they resign. They have this much honor. But the Pakistanis hold on to their seats. Politician, Pakistani politicians. Shamelessly holding on to their seats and their positions and all this. Baba, it is too much now for us. I didn't have the heart to see this. Maybe if uh, Nawaz Sharif may be cooperating with the Arabs or whatever he's doing, because I said long time ago that he's a puppet of America. They can't. America to America hai na? Agar mujhe kyu nahi aai? Mere paas kyu nahi aai? Why didn't America come to me and say, because they know that I'm not going to take a bribe. So they've seen the loopholes, they've seen the shaitan in our own Islam community, Muslim community. That's why they can come if everyone are Islam. I'm look ban karing in McDonald's. Someone, a poor one Muslim girl, will say, I, I've become a Muslim. I'm going to now not uh, encourage these. Who are they, the American government and all? What can they do to us? If we, if everyone, of the Pakistanis, Afghanistan, Iraq. See, Iraq, they put Saddam, and Saddam could fight uh, Iran because he is a Sunni Muslim. His father or him was against uh, the Sayyids of uh, the Shias. So we have our own we should look at our own mistakes. God helps those who help themselves. God has said this also in the Quran, but when a helpless person, that is also so that tum be sahara ho, to kisi ka sahara ban jao. Yani, if you feel helpless without any succor, savior, become a savior to someone else. I have to consider all these things and I'm just giving points, okay? Uh, please, uh, I'm not Haris Sultan or someone like him. Human rights essay without proper investigation. I have uh, for years seen how this Kashmiri woman, doctor, how she treacherously uh, you know, deceived us for years. I lost my mother's life to this. 
Mm. Like uh, the therapy she used against us. Calling my mo- father a miser in front of me. So I will come to the befitting reply. There's no befitting reply. This is not <laughs> any sane, normal, uncorrupted person can see. Okay? To Jemima, this is not a befitting reply. And because of your ex, I still have to complete that. Because of your ex husband. Pele Jagyo Sasain Karo. Right, Divar? I could have become a convict, like in Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Why didn't America come to me and say, why? Because I cannot be sold. I stood up against some Matthew's girlfriend, Marianne Williamson, in Karachi American school for that poor Catholic going Pakistani no one stood up for. While Marian Williamson was abusing her. Could it be a befitting reply to me long time ago when I was a child with my grandmother? I was abusing my aunt and her. My mother used to take me into her room. I was so small, my hands were so small. She had the heart to punish me with a heated match on my skin, hand skin. How many times she did it as long as I stood there abusing and whose fault was it? Go and look at uh, that song, Krishnani Bega, you know that, uh, by Colonial Cousins. They actually positioned me in that way, cornered me to abuse her. Do you know what this grandmother was doing to me? I couldn't speak out, I was so shy. My mother would have gone insane at that there and then. What would have been her memory? It would have stuck to her all the time. You know how many men were in that servant quarter? And how that Bengali cook was uh, holding me. Now I wear gloves to cut the onions and the garlic here. Because Abu Dhabi has financially given me that support. Not that I'm not grateful to them, but all around, uh, I hope they have patience with me. Because I want good for the people. How ignorant can we be as Muslims? Imran Khan is talking about the poor Muslims. And another thing is that this Tariq Masood, uh, they sent after for a month, he complained against me, reported my videos on YouTube. Oh, sorry, Facebook. Live stream. He's come to my page and then has also called me a randi, but he never got reported. He reported my case <clears throat> on Facebook. They kept me away, f- uh, wh- what do you call that? For a month, for a month, 30 days. Again, the Kashmiri thing, I said. You know, we, hum rahem kha ke report nahi karte the, Pakistan mein, sadar, ghar pe, ye servants, vulgar, aise aise pata hai, aurat ko, woman, what the Safdar's younger brother and Manzoor did, 
मुझे तो कर लिया फिर दूसरी औरत को भी she was a virgin and they saw it and they went into her they telling me a child well they did it behind me and behind uh, they molested me if i was to report pata nahi kitne pakistani would be in jail for sexual assault these poor pakistanis who have become rich now the safdars uh, look alike safdars brother look alike sheikh mubarak al nayan and uh, not only safdars uh, look alike but the same kind of um, action now with an adult with an elder with a woman or his age or younger than him younger than him sorry a britisher if i was in the back to pakistan if i was to complain about sexual assault more than half maybe i don't know how much percent the pakistani males muslim males would be in jail what will happen to the pakistan what would happen to that country i was just thinking of that so i wanted to tell you not only me there was another christian uh, you know going to bori bazar sadar walking they touch and um, my principal st joseph's college mummy mrs munira gulzar told us told me to tell my friends in st joseph's college that they should not go leave out, go out and walk the christians walk because uh, they the christians who live in sadar my friend shirley she took me to her place we walked to her place they, these poor christians they have to, they have to walk outside to go to their place they can't go in a rickshaw the houses nearby they building the apartments what they had to go through for so many years and yet the principal is telling me to tell my muslim friends not to go out walk there outside college there's a bad man there so many bad man uh, bad men out in pakistan so when will you be uh, muslims realize agar hum log complain karte us time pe abhi to bola tha ki tarik road nahi jana sambhal karna kisi se aise baat nahi karna hum kis se baat karte hain this recently this man burst into the shop and started to talk to Uh, the shopkeeper like he knows him so i thought you know and he spoke to me and he said his wife is bastaki wife was bastaki who died of cancer so i was like maybe the principal and they have sent him he has been following me do you see how they have been following me my thing in karachi i was at clifton shop uh, somewhere Uh, that place where is it uh, near the after uh, oh god where the just before the food all this uh, mr burger and all that before that they have a bank there and there was a shop for some some something i can't remember right now so you see and there's a, a standard chartered bank there i think I'm not sure. Principal's uh, son used to work there in Standard Chartered Bank. So I mean, I, I, I was like, oh God, what have this? Who have this? And maybe this is a good guy. I, I, and uh, so, anyways, uh, I needed help, so I was asking him if he's a reporter. Uh, does he work for the TV, PTV? Give my story out. so then that shopkeeper started to tell me no don't talk to these people i don't know him i said my god he spoke to you like he you were friends he, was, he always comes here so uh he said no 
I don't know him. I've never seen him before. And you be careful. So you look very intelligent, but then, you know, sometimes we don't think. And uh, in Tariq Road, he told me there's a lot of rape. That's when he came out with this. A lot of rape. The rate is, uh, yani, uh, from before, it's gone up. In year 2000, somewhere. Seven, uh, eight, six, 2006, seven, somewhere like that. Eight, 2008. So please be careful, like he was saying. How can we be careful? No matter how much we can, uh, you think the rape victims have not taken care? So, this uh, Tariq Masood, back to that, for one month and then they're sending me that I will not leave you and you, what? I should have reported Manzoor in Park, Karachi a long time ago. Oh. First you go take my lifeline away for one month. I miss the principle. I, I can't do this. A woman can. What? This is unfair. I was just thinking about like how we keep the women protected and the men can go out and do anything they like. I have to think twice. I haven't gone to the swimming pool. I've uh, bought a full, full swimming suit, full, full sleeves, full, everything, full, fully covered. Even the head, hair and all. But I, I haven't stepped in the swimming pool. So, uh, so you know, here we have to think twice. We. This is not life for a woman, suffocating, and it is unjust. So yes, uh, the dress, uh, there's a, a verse back to, oh God, I don't know where to start and when, where to end and where. So this is like disorderly speaking, please. And now this verse has come, the dress of piety is better than uh, the best dress. And it's a Qur'an ayat. Anyhow, uh, the Qur'an has some, like uh, prostitution for slave girls is allowed under consent. But it doesn't say it like that. It says it in a way that deceives, deceived all the honest Shia who really honestly research. And they feel if this religion was not right, we would not be in this religion. If there was no Imam Hussain and the sacrifice, Imam Sajjad, we thought this religion was true. Bibi Sakina, four-year-old, three-year-old of Imam Hussain, what she had to go through. So we uh, see how we were deceived, duped, treachery. My God, for years, still I'm like looking at, I remind myself and I go back. Surah Noor, Ayat 33. People have tried to give me reasons, uh, another verse from another place. Surah Araf, I looked at, indecency is not allowed in Islam. But you have to do some mental gymnastics. For the Quran is uh, has put it, since I found these verses in Surah Azab to why Prophet Muhammad got married to Zayd's divorcee, Zainab, who was a very beautiful cousin of his. Why couldn't he marry the cousin before? So, and those verses, if you read between the lines, and, and uh, our Shias told us that uh, Rasulullah never makes a mistake. Surah Azab, he's made a mistake. But that's okay. Uh, so then they give these uh, reasons that I have no, okay, I looked at it. If it is an ex flimsy excuse or is it a, a true reason, pure reason behind it? So what is pure reason 
you can go back to I can go back to St. Joseph's College, my logic years and philosophy year classes, lectures, and find out like how to reason purely. There's bad reasoning and there's good reasoning too. The reason that God has sometimes we say it is beyond. He has a good reason for it, like Allah ki maslahat hai. His mystery, mysterious ways. We cannot see, excuse me, we cannot, like uh, Hazrat Khizar killed a boy and uh, then uh, he told Moses that, did I not tell you, you will not have patience with me. So likewise, uh, the dreams of Imam Mahdi in London and before one dream, before going to London, and then he's disappeared. So I'm trying to look at what, because sometimes a person, even a saint, does a bad thing, which uh, to us seems like it is bad. But it is, uh, for, like in the Quran it says, that uh, you may find a woman bad, but she is good for you. Or something bad, and it is good for you. So, like someone did, because I was having dreams and I can connect those signs with uh, a person in London. And he's turned out, he's got a look-alike, Barmam Savishwananda. So they're explaining to me. Anyhow, I cannot talk about this right now in detail. Uh, maybe do another video. But here, can you see that the tongue coming out and all these problems I've had with Facebook is just, you report it treacherously on the face of it, but what you have done in Pakistan oh, and gotten away with the crimes you've committed against humanity, against families, against a mother, and call yourselves Muslims and say, the French ambassador should leave Pakistan, of course. But his way was that he, you know, Tariq Masood's way, whatever his reason may be, uh, was terrible about Islam. Oh, I think our Mujay, he's told me that if you come to Pakistan, he threatened me. If you come to Pakistan, I'm going to show you. You know, like what, show me what? You know, it was a threat. But Facebook never did anything to him. I should have complained against him. He's got a wrong name. I mean, when he came to our house long time ago as Mansoor, was that the right name or the wrong name? False. And on Facebook, he's got Tariq Masood. So what is uh, this going on? And I don't know, I'm surprised at myself. I, yeah, I will be talking and getting headaches. Oh, the headache I got, they want me to say, no, I'll, I'll never speak against anyone, but I will. I want to die, but you know, like I'm taking money from Abu Dhabi or this and that. But sometimes I feel they stop me and they're saying something positive about Abu Dhabi. That this is going to be good for the future. So, uh, anything else I've missed, let me think about it. Yeah, so what befitting reply by Mariam Sar uh, Safdar, Nawaz Sharif's to, uh, daughter to Jemima calls me. It's a total unjust reply, unfair. Although very cleverly she said that uh, I have nothing to do with you and this. Of course you have nothing to do with that. You definitely, your father put incriminating, insinuated in fact, he was the prime minister of that time, wasn't he? That's why Jemima Goldsmith put a wrong case thing on her. 
that she wants, she's smuggling antiques. She was sending these tiles to her mother. In the Quran it says, whoever puts a false uh, thing on someone, they say that, you know, if you, kisi ke guna, uh, that person has done nothing to you. Let's say I drink and all this. Let's say I drink, uh, let's suppose, just a supposition, I drink alcohol. I don't hurt other people, but it is my guna. We are told that um, parda rakhem, um, Khuda hamare guna, sa, pata nahi kitne, satar, saat, satar, I think 70 they say. I think so, most probably. Parda uh, rakta hai. But, what kind of a Muslim are you? You see, if we say, if you say someone is a lesbian, you haven't seen it. Like in Surah Noor, Ayat, it will come on you. So your father is the biggest smuggler. Nawaz Sharif. You break uh, sheep in, uh, what? Sheep, wolves, uh, wolves in sheep's clothing. And you know, they get away by saying these things and we should not allow them to get away. Now it is high, it is gone, we are gone cases. You see, I am so crippled that no one will be able to help me. My mother's life slipped away from her, her hands. Our prayers, your dua yastashir, dua sabha sab, dua sabha, dua mehraj, dua. I mean, dua yastashir is one of the best duas, and there's dua hijab for mentally ill or emotionally unstable people. Rasulullah kasam khate hain apne prophethood ki. Salman ko kehte but it is not written. I didn't find that part. The merits, in the merits of the dua yastashir on, uh, online. And please, uh, be careful. Humanity out there, honest people, not treacherous. But these people are treacherous. These are wolves in sheep's clothing, the Bible says, refers to them, such people. So we don't, we shouldn't get duped. Not a slight bit of uh, this thing, ram. You look bare, ham, bare. Jemima Goldsmith said, good riddance to bad rubbish when Nawaz Sharif lost the elections and Imran Khan won. And he had put a, a case, they wanted to frame her, which is uh, like not bailable, that she has smuggled out and she was pregnant with her second son, I think. So this is the plight of the Muslims. This is shameless, merciless, cruel. Anyways, these are the reasons and we knew about it because there were very few people who were told were with the, 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 the Haq, Haq Ali ke saath, the Shias, with Imam Ali. So very few people would be saved, very few Muslims. In fact, according to Sahih Bukhari, that uh, narration, that those who do not believe in the Imam of the time, it means uh, like this, the Muslim, uh, the Imam of the time, he's going, Mahdi, he's going to, will die a death of ignorance. Yani meaning, all the Muslims around the world, sorry to say this, whether, you see, because then we Shias have done great research Thank God I got it on a golden, silver, silver spoon, golden tray. 
according to that narration and Sahih Bukhari and Muslim or Sahih Muslim, uh, many Muslims, you're going to die. You, I mean, you're going, you're going to, you can pray, you can uh, do fasting, everything. But if you do not know the true Islamic leader, like they think Caliph or whatever they take him as, I, I'm not quoting it word by word, but it, I had found this uh, narration in one of the Sahihs of the Sunni sources. So that's how on this day we, we link it to Ghadir. Ghadir, Eid um, Ghadir, right? The event of Ghadir. Uh, the we Shias brought that verse out that this on this day we have completed your religion and favored Islam for you. Say, O Prophet, meaning Rasulullah, in brackets. If you do not say this, you have said nothing. Now, logically, if you look at it, logically look at it. And go through the Sunni sources, hadiths in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim and uh, Ibn Dawood or Abu Dawood or, you know, what is it? Sorry, uh, like that. Like I used to read uh, Dejani's books. Then I was guided and Shias are the real al Sunnah uh, or uh, something like this. Who are the, who are the real al Sunnah? Oh, God knows al Sunnah. What was, sorry, I've forgotten properly. You can check and I, I'll be corrected. So all these books of Dejani I bought. And the references, thank God at that time I had access to internet at home in Karachi. I would, uh, any kind of reference that was very important, it was from a Sunni source, I would go and check them online. On Sai Bukhari. You have a whole Sai Bukhari online. And it is a true one. So even later on, if a Sunni says that, no, no, you got it from the Jews, this web, uh, Sahih Bukhari. So anyways, my then thank God, uh, uh, you know what happened? My aunt also started to do research on the true religion school of thought. So she bought volumes of Sahih Bukhari in Urdu. She told me, no, no, these, all these that he's mentioned are there and that you're saying, you've checked online, it is true in these volumes, in Sai Bukhari. Okay, so that's why we, she has, uh, I feel, are more, we just wanted to save Muslims. Uh, what do we get? And I'm not greedy or anything. We've seen life. Imran Khan has seen life. Imran Khan is uh, not greedy. My father told me he's an honest man. But uh, what they do in Pakistan, we, we must be under duress with the army and all that. Anyhow, back to my main point, where is that? That if, uh, how can America harm us some people, Dua'i Sabah Sab, some people told the believers, Mu'mini, that there's an army coming against them. They said, Allah is sufficient for us. He's the best helper, the best protector, the best provider. There and then, we were victorious. The Mu'mini were victorious. No, America cannot harm us. Agar getting half, we're going to cut the country into half, divide it, and make one fight against another. All of you, Muslim, Mu'mineen, say no. If they bribe the Sunni against the Shia, Sunnis say no. That's it. Okay, then they say that, okay, we're going to kill you all. Say, we are all ready to be martyred. Ami kya milega? Martyrdom hi milega na? This is what we Muslims were born for Shias and all. This is what a true Muslim is. 
to save the lives of our fellow believers. Believers are guardians of one another. कहीं ना कहीं पे तो लूप होल या वो चीज़ शैतान जैसे ये ब्राइबरी टेकर्स अभी हाँ हमारे बच्चे को अच्छा अभी हमारे शिया में भी कभी या यू नो अच्छा हाँ तो इससे हमारी डॉटर शादी करेगी तो एक घर डिफेंस में मिलेगा एक ये मिलेगा ये देखें then even uh, one christian said that i've given up on pakistan because the rich are sleeping in pakistan the wealthy acha mere bete ko acha ha mere bete ko nahi marna mera beta kal ko cambridge jayega aur udhar london jayega ha iski beti ko maar dalo america to ye puppet nawaz sharif aisa hai दूसरों की बेटियों को मरवा रहे हैं बेच रहे हैं अमेरिका को खुद जी रहे हैं कि पाकिस्तान का नाम करेगा मेरा बेटा वट्स रॉन्ग विथ यू जमाइमा इमरान खान इतने बेटियों को तुम लोगों ने मरवाया है घरों को डैमेज करवाया है अमेरिका से रिश्वत ली है अपने को बचाया है और फिर कह रहे हैं कह रहे एक मेरा ग्रैंडसन वो पाकिस्तान का ऐसा नाम कर रहा है बेखैरत बदबक्त लानत लालिक तुम पे तो खुदा की लानत है वो तो कुरान में लिखा है वो तो कुरान ने मुझे तो कहने की भी जरूरत नहीं है लेकिन एक रिमाइंडर है बिकॉज ये लोग हेपोक्रेट्स ऐसे हैं हाँ तुम लोगों की आंखों में धूल डाल रहे हैं ब्लाइंड फोल्डिंग यू पीपल दिस करप्टेड पाकिस्तानी एक्स पॉलिटिशियंस जहनमी